Oh, look, they put their symbols everywhere. This, this is where they're living. And what's, oh, it's a hotel. Look, here's the sun hieroglyph. They're in the roof here. There's probably more to see, but it's getting dark here. Everywhere they put their secret symbols. Probably something in the door as well. Ah, oh, there's the A for Ra. Ra is the, uh, the uh, sun god of the pharaohs. Oh. Oh, look at this logo, square and compass in the pharaonic colors. Blue, red and white. Oh, this is flagrant on a truck. Just in time solutions. Oh, what do they know? Wants to know say with that, you know. That's Abraham. Oh, yeah. Yeah, well, I, I prefer this one here. This is nice. Oh, that's sweet. Petrol station. Yeah, look at this petrol station. I've been here five... I was here five times and I, and I never saw it. This is a big sun hieroglyph as I show in the Pharaoh show. And here's another one. And underneath there's this ball. Yeah, this thing specially, you know, it means we rule the world, pharaohs, yeah. So it's in my film, The Pharaoh Show. It's all around on all four sides, I think. So this is a petrol station here in France. Not a real big one. The uh, sun hieroglyph, pharaoh, they are ruling the entire world. They were the aristocracy, the old world order, who are now the new world order. Pharaoh, or what's left of it. I'll show you the rest later. Me. There's some Frenchies. They opened the little house for me here yesterday. I could sleep in there, but I didn't. I, you know, it's, it's cold stone. Well, there was a chimney, but, you know, I have to find, put all the logs in there, you know. And so I put my tent here. Yeah. Okay, show you Pharaoh. Well, here it says, you want to read it. It was also built here in the uh, during the Crusades, the time when Switzerland was founded. A lot of you know, 12th century, so 11, the 1100s. So here, this is what left of it. It's in a place called uh, uh, Chateau Chalon. Yeah, slept next to a graveyard here. Nice. Didn't know that. Yeah, look, that's the octagon with four times the uh, Templar's symbol, the V, like we find on all the armies. So, uh, what they, what they say? Energy to people. <laughs> so that's three and one. One is differently. Well, where's he from? He's, he's Czech. Full of Templar symbols. En anglais. I get, I get this to make this. Yeah. yeah. So, so this is the same one as this one. The guy yeah, got same. it. <laughs> He's in the streets like me here, French. <laughs> <laughs> Merci de votre visite. <laughs> I was want to uh, ride uh, a, f a fire, and I burned my foot like that. Two, mon two months pain like that, two months pain. You took some LSD, this, right? This is the hand, yes. I always took some LSD. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, Fuck. shit. Wait, Fuck. Wait, 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 uh, <coughs> shit, shit happens, eh? Yeah, yeah. I was, I was pissing one day, and uh, I didn't finish to piss, and they cut my throat like that, with the knife. Oh, yeah, I so after it, yeah. I fight with that bastard, and they run. Okay? Yeah. It was nine o'clock in the evening, eh? Nine o'clock in the evening, yeah. In France. In France. Oh, yeah. yeah. Dangerous. Yeah. Yeah, a lot of obelisks here in Strasbourg with the sun hieroglyph on it. And, you know, three pyramids here. Always three, of course. I know who that is. Like a devil. And, um, yeah, it's amazing. It's like a it's like a castle. On top of it, there's a more 
some hieroglyphs there and a lot of pyramids on top here uh, sorry obelisks there's another one there's another one look it's like a castle in the middle of the with a coat of arms on it it's like a bloody castle and this this guy here is like like a builder of uh, of castles with a castle there behind him I don't know. There's another little snake here in France. Very small. We got to be run over by a car. This small. A young one. Got another dead snake on the road here in the north of France. It's a bit torn apart here in the north. It's been raining again the whole night, but it's a very beautiful forest. I like it very much here. Nice tree. Yeah. Another snake in France has just died. I think it's, uh, it's not poisonous. Again, clouds passing behind the moon. It doesn't adjust. Yeah, well. It's all a lie. It has to be in a dark place. Look, you can see it. It doesn't adjust. Because the place is not dark enough. I have to be in a park like. Well. <clears throat> I'm here in this empty supermarket here in the, in the middle of the night so I'm going to sleep so it's quite it's quite spooky here actually <laughs> so uh, which way was it again uh, I hope you can see it you know what? Uh, uh, somewhere here Yeah, up the stairs here. Mm. Oh, etc. etc. Going up here. Empty supermarket. So here's the. I hear a lot of noises here in the night. So there I go down the hallway here. I have to turn off the light now, I can hear some noise. Here's a church in Poligny, which is not far from salin le bain where I filmed those uh, in the east of France, not very far from Switzerland, where I filmed the uh, two Jesuit churches next to each other. And this pillar here is octagonal with a grain on it, meaning our, our grains are here, our blood is here, our descendants are here. You see? And... Uh, it's all octagonal. The fountain here, what it used to be, is octagonal. The ground here is octagonal. You can see it here. It's all octagonal. Octagon. Yep. Built by the end of the Crusades. So, well, no doubt, you know, the Templars are some, somehow in it. As this Templars, the Temple of these Templars, is just near to it in Salin Le Bain, which was very rich, and this is still the road of the uh, the, the salt road here in uh, here in Poligny. Hello, Mrs. Isis. Well, this thing is called the Statue of the Republic from 2000, Freemasons. And what is the Republic? Which is the New World Order, which took over. After the French Revolution, the Old World Order, which was a transition, the French Revolution was a transition from the Old World Order, the old feudal system of the king, to the New World Order, that all the descendants of Pharaoh could be the king for a period of four, five or seven years. 
So this is Isis. They're all pharaohs, the aristocracy. They are pharaohs. I already explained that to you. Yeah, so this is a German guy and as you can see here, you can see a pyramid from the top. And it has the, uh, the Templars V uh, on all sides. And it has the pharaonic colors, blue for the war crown, red is the lower Egypt, the Pertasser, and white is the uh, upper Egypt, like the White House, uh, the Perhet. And this is why there's two whites and only one red, because red are the, of the original first sons, you know, the old world order. And white, as we can say, is the new world order, the second and third sons. Because red is upper e uh, lower Egypt, where the original Egypt is, you know, with the, uh, the pyramid of Gizeh and Cairo and all that. And here it says uh, Manhattan. So, you know, the new world order. It's all here, you know, they, they, they put their stuff everywhere, everywhere in it. So, yeah, it's, it's amazing. So I'm here on a petrol station and, uh, well, I don't get any further. And the name of the petrol station here in the east of France is On The Run. <laughs> I'm still alive, so we we'll see. Hey. Come and get me now. You liars, you criminals. So, a lot of cops again. Maybe you've got another terrorist attack going on. This is an exercise now. And uh, here they got all their cars here. But it's not as much as I've seen uh, like in these, you know. So the date is, um, I think it's September the 21st in the south of France. And uh, so if there's an attack, we see the exercise. So it's crawling with the cops here, they, they went inside. Also here. So this is in Mornas, next to Orange. Where's the, uh, the castle? There on the motorway. So if there's an, uh, a terrorist attack, uh, I don't know, it's, maybe it's about six o'clock now, so there was an exercise here. So this is their logo, there's like the Republican Guard or something. I don't know what they're having here. No? <coughs> they even have a whole bus going on here. There's a whole bus. So, loads of them. Yeah, look. More. And then one more. But in these, nice, there was much, much more. Well, another one. And another one. In these, nice, there were the same guys. I, don't, I wonder what they're having there behind here, you know. And there are some more. Oh, a lot. In these, nice, they have these really, they have these really big trucks. The day of the, uh, of the assault. Well, it's them behind it, I'll tell you. It's all a lie, you know. And another one. And another one. Yo! And another one. Well, there must have been an exercise here. I hope there's not another attack or something. Yeah, and another one was loaded here. Yeah. So here on the petrol station, Mornas. And even more. I thought that was all, but it wasn't. Another one. They even have a... Look, look, what's this, you know? What's that? What are they transporting in there, you know? Full of it. So if there's another terrorist attack going on tonight, so this is September the 21st, uh, somewhere in the south of France, uh, next to Orange and Avignon. So they're coming from the north. So in the north they got Montélimar, they got the, uh, the nuclear plant. Oh. Oh, look, an apple orchard. They let it all rot on the ground here in the south of France. Everywhere. Look at that. Because it's cheaper from Spain or something, or from I don't know where. But it's all rotting away. What a miserable, eh? 
It's all about money. Oh. Between the apple trees next to the petrol station, where I just filmed the cops here, there are many lanes like this, you know, empty. You can drive with a car through it. It already happened, you know, that they drove over a tent with some hitchhikers. So I found these things here. I'm going to put my tent in the middle. So I'm quite safe. I have to think about all eventualities. Your nice apples. Yeah. So I'm waiting for sunset. I'm going to put my tent here between the apple trees. How am I going to sleep? Whom of you is ever going to experience that, eh? Yeah, look, there's a truck driver, a real fat man. I just saw him with a pink sword here. Well, what do you think that means, eh? He's probably one to show and, you know, to pick up if there's any other guys, you know, with the same sexual or orientation, like, you know? These LGBT Satanists, they're all over, you know? And they hide. Like this one is hiding behind a big truck and, a, and a, some sort of a warrior, I don't know, or a uh, Star Trek thing or whatever. So here's this truck. You see, they, this is the kind of thing they do, you know? And, I, and, then, and then they rape some kiddies, you know? This is our so society, that's what it is. It's a phallic symbol, of course, and it's pink. Uh, so what do you think it is? How do you call the program again? It's not Star Trek, what is it? Um, Star Wars, yeah. Star Wars. Well, that's where they probably come from, these pharaohs, eh? And it is a war, I tell you. Oh, yes. A bloody pink war it is. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. And all protected by the police and the, uh, the authorities. Especially those those Freemason pharaohs, yeah, and Switzerland. Oh, the Swiss—they they love all these sort of things, yeah. You know, and then if the other guys ask and say, "Well, my kids gave it to me," or something like that, you know, well, bullocks, of course not. Well, were the kids there? The, where you know where the, the the truck drivers are to put this 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 stick on it? Of course not. He did it himself. You know, we have to look at the little details. You know, look, look at the truck. You, know? you have to look at the little details because the enemy within is very real. They're everywhere and they're still hiding. So we still got a little chance, yeah? You see what I mean? Well, soon that chance will be over. You know? It's finished. Oh, man, it's everywhere. Everywhere. Look at the little details. And they're all lying. I mean, not the details, the, <laughs> the people who make the details, yeah. Now, this is sort of like, have a pink obelisk up yours, you know. <laughs> Same thing, we all have a pink obelisk up ours, yeah. Sick, all sick. So I was just sitting here minding my own business actually, you know. And uh, this guy pulls over here. I know he's having giving me a strange look, eh? Well, I thought what, why is he giving me that strange look then, eh? Yo. But then I was wondering what does he have on the other side of the, the other door? Another cloak and dagger, a pink dagger. Yo man eh. Probably doesn't even have any kids, yeah. Oh, look at this ISIS building. Yo, man, I'm probably gonna rebuild it here in Bezier. I'm not gonna tell you how I got here. Oh, what a story. Look, another ISIS castle in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> there she is. Mrs. ISIS and the sun you live like in Bezier. Oh, what is this guy with the horns there? Lion. Yeah, of course, another obelisk in the octagonal basin next to the octagon guys of the police here. 
right. And of course, are looking at us here. And uh, bloody criminals, you are. Pharaonic flag here. That's all. Well, we got the obelisk here. There's also, of course, there's Isis. And the obelisk stands for her husband, Osiris. And here's like the, uh, the police uh, octagon. The sun hieroglyph on it here. Look at that. It's all here. And the pharaonic flag, red, white, and blue. And what is this here? Let's have a look at it. What does it say? You can knock on the door with this. Uh, some sort of a funny symbol. Ah, that's Horus, of course. There is this Horus with Seth. There's Seth, the devil, or Seton, and that's Horus. So the whole family reunites. There's always Isis, Horus, and Seth. It's always the same thing here. Yeah, there's the, uh, the pyramid, like on the, uh, uh, the symbol of the pyramid, like on the wall. I don't know who this bloke is, but anyway, here's the wolf of, uh, you know, of Rome. Romulus and Romus. And, uh, but what are the, all the Indians doing here, you know? They're definitely Indians. Homitaku Yasin. That means, you know, they are... They are conquered, you know, by this system of Rome. This is the system of the Fachis. It means one branch, you know, you know, you can break it, but a bundle of branches, you can't break it. So it means, you know, they are a bundle of branches, all organized, like here. They're all bloody organized, these guys. You know, and these Indians are all like, you know, I'm, I'm the Indian chief, I'm the macho guy, you know. And they win. This is the way they win, you know, this is what it means. They conquer all races, all peoples. You know, everywhere they li they leave their their history and symbols, you know, and uh, so here in Bézier, in the south of France, it's all over, and Rome is Egypt. Don't worry, it is Egypt. And here it says the Latin genius. <laughs> what a joke, man. What a joke. Why did you put, how did you think they put the G on the, uh, on the bakery here? Hey, eh? there's always put a G in, in, fr in the middle of the, uh, the square and compass. It's always the same. You think those warlords there with the pharaonic blue, red, b white and blue flag on it, they, they just disappeared. These guys who terrorized Europe and the Europeans, raped our women, tortured our children in a dungeon and burned our women and the good ones. You think they just disappeared? Well, come on, get out of here. Of course they didn't. The descendants are there. The traditions are there. They're still there. Pharaohs ruling the planet and the DNA proves it. More than 50% of the Europeans have got the pharaonic DNA. These guys never disappeared. Well, that's the old world order who became now the new world order. And they're still around. That's why we got all these wars and the injustice. And our base is Switzerland. There's sort of a lake here next to Marseille, next to the ocean. Oh, he doesn't look very happy. This is like humanity. Yeah. We're all going to be drowned in this dictatorship of Pharaoh. So this bloke here, he was the governor of Indochina, you know, like Vietnam. That's why the Americans took it over, because, you know, the French were there before. And that's why there's the sun hieroglyph on it. There's another pharaoh, yeah? Where is it? Yeah, here. It's the sun hieroglyph. They always put their pharaonic symbols everywhere. What's this little boy doing there? I have no idea. What is he? Is he Asian? 
No, oh, well, he doesn't look Asian. Probably another pedophile, eh? That's why the little boy is here. Bloke was a pedophile, like all of those Freemasons, you know, pharaohs. He was a little, he was a pedophile. So I'm here in Martigue. It's an incredible place here. Yeah. There's a big lake here. Incredible. There's a big lake again and uh, here is a, a cave. I'm writing a script for a film. I'm at this film director here, French film director. Tu peux euh, mettre le... Tu, tu peux mettre la lumière dans le fond? Euh, ouais, ouais. C'est le côté dangereux pour moi ça. Euh, ça ouais. manque à tomber. Ah, ok. So this is the cave here. Tu peux finir ta vie là aussi, personne ne va chercher. C'est assez court. So there's the motorway here. And uh, behind it is the... Uh, is that enormous lake. So maybe the Templars have been digging here, who knows, you know. Hiding. Control post post so this road is going to Marigna, no, Mar Martigue oh the moose is here hey, hey. so there's the airport of Marseille so I pas fait mal au pied no je vois rien sur l'écran Yeah, see this? You know, so nobody can steal the car. Well, it makes it more difficult, you know. It's on the steering wheel, so you can't move it anymore with a lock on it here. So, this is in the south of France. I'm, I never see this in the north of France. And, and this is not even a, a fancy car, you know. It's just, it's a car, you know. Being the soul of the, um, while alive, of the pharaohs. You know, they're all Freemasons, you know, Ford, it's the Oval here, of the basic Capaches. So, it's, it's everywhere, you know, it's, uh, yeah, and this is another, another car, like, you know, it has the same thing here. It's, and, and this is on a private property, they're just simple cars, you know, cheap cars. Uh, so this is on a private property, where, where I showed you the, uh, the horse. There's actually there's a gate there, you know, and they have a key to the gate. Just, they just, there's the gate, the red, where you see the red there. They just come in and, you know, and they drive here down, down there and they're sitting there. And we saw the cops, you know, the other day, they're, they're just drinking beer. You know, they're just taking a pause here. So they hide, they we're sitting behind it. Maybe they're, now, they're there now. Uh, it's, it's absolute, it's anarchy. Total anarchy. Cops gave it up because they are, they are, I don't know, they're tied on a, on a, on a rope, you know, they, they, they will let them lose very soon, you know, they're so frustrated you now and they, they will let them lose very soon on us. Je dois avoir une vieille rigueur. Euh, alors, racontez encore sur la maison de retraite. Ah. Je vis en enfer en maison de retraite. Je m'ennuie, je m'ennuie, je m'ennuie. Je dis, 
Olha lá. Já se fui. Adiante, o Oui. Au revoir, madame. So she said, I'm living in the, um, in the old people's home and it's horrible. She was 78 years old. It's, um, uh, it's horrible. It's um, l'enfer. It's the, uh, oh, I forget my words. <laughs> but she, she's going to the next. Yeah. Setting up an arrow. Fantastic. So I'm here in Salin Le Bain. She said the um, I don't know if you can see it, this is another bunker here from the first world war probably. Yeah, they just oh, there's some hair lying there. So the farmer just let it let it all grow over, you know. So it's not very far from the Swiss border. There's another one there. You see the stone here. This is another one here, another bunker. That was the other one. It's it's full of it, you know. Everywhere. Stupid wars. We need a good war against the real enemy. That's what we need. So somewhere, I think they they put a lot of sand or earth over it. So somewhere is the entrance. You know. uh, well, 100 years ago. Hmm. Look at the earth you can even see they're connected, you know. Here. It's it's higher here, the earth. And there too. It's going to the other bunker. They're connected. They're interconnected under the earth. So maybe there was a turret, like some cannon and machine post, you know, machine gun post. And um, yeah, it's connected, definitely connected. Uh, if we want to stop the wars, we have to stop Switzerland, you know, and the aristocracy, the pharaohs. Don't fight each other. Stupid. Yeah, there's definitely under here, there's a whole complex of bunkers. Yeah, probably arms, bodies, ammunition, mustard gas. Absolutely. Here while I'm walking, it's all, it's a bunker underneath. Absolutely. So I wouldn't even go over it with my tractor. Yeah. Look again, clouds passing behind the moon. It passed behind the moon. Oh, these clouds are behind the moon. You see them pass behind the moon. This is not a trick.
You see, there are no clouds before it. They're all behind the moon. <laughs> they pass behind the moon. How is this possible? After 9-11, you know, we, re we realize everything is a lie. Oh, I saw it run. Is that the dark side of the moon? Hmm. You see, there's nothing passing in front of it. It's all behind. Oh, they passed now. They have all passed. Pharaoh in the middle of nowhere. Really, it's all forest, as, as far as you can watch. All forest around. This is the uh, Chateau Spesburg. And Spesen in German that means um, um, uh, taxes, you know. So that's what they did. Now, th this is the tax evasion. This is where the taxes, where they come from. They invented taxes. They even call it like this, you know, the tax, tax castle. Tax castle. Wow. Yeah. And they are the lords of Andlau. nowhere and it's big so here's the well of the castle Spesburg and it's all forest everywhere now look you see it on the other side maybe it's all forest this is the name the pre that means the uh, the well Spesburg Chateau. Well, Chateau is not a wine, you know, <laughs> if you think so. There was not wine in here, probably water or... Yeah. So this castle of Andlau, also in the east of France, it's all forest around there. Eh? It's really as far as you can look. And there are two towers here. It was built in 1260, or they finished it in 1260. This is like it used to be. The other castle, the Spaceborg, it was built in, uh, or it was finished in 1260, this one here. So there was 1291 was the end of the Crusades and the, um, when they uh, founded Switzerland on August the 1st, 1291. So they finished it just before. So during the Crusades and the other castle too, they finished it in 1250. So just before, and it's not very far. It's like half an hour walk from one castle to the other. It's amazing. Uh, probably France is the country with the most castles in the world. So this is, it looks like Colditz, you know, escape from Colditz, look at that. So, constructed during the Crusades, this is the name, Chateau de Antlau. Yeah, Antlau. And uh, here's their coat of arms. And it still belongs to the, uh, the um, Napoleon's family. Napoleon I, so Napoleon Bonaparte, it belongs to their family, so you know, they're, they're hiding amongst us, that's what they would have been telling you, they've been hiding, look in the, uh, I'll show you the other, here it says in French, if you read it, you can just read it, ah, there it is, oh, oh come on, yeah, it belongs to the family of Napoleon, until today, okay. So, well, let's go in. So there's a castle from another side here. So this is inside the Chateau of Antlau. 
Uh, the other one and why we could go in inside as well looks the same. But the other one was nicer in a way. Uh, so of course there were a lot of rooms here and all wood, but the wood is all gone. Yeah. Parties going on, whatever. So here you can see it's all probably see it here. It's all forest. As far as you can look. Here you can see it now, as far as you can look, and even behind the mountain there, it's all forest. Here's the castle, and the other castle too, of course. It's all forest all around. Amazing. So, <laughs> during the Crusades, why did they build it? Probably were afraid of the Arabs, who were already, yeah, well, they were invading France. They made it up all the way to Vienna, and there's another castle, it's full of it. And that there is the Rhine uh, Valley, really very fertile, very big, going all the way to Basel, Switzerland, of course. Uh, I think they were afraid of the Muslims, they called them Saracens in those days, from Sar, meaning the king in Fairrani. Sarazin, Saracens, who made it all the way to northern, northern France, actually. So, and that's why... Because of the, uh, the invasions of the Muslims and the Arabs, the crusade started, which was actually a reaction on, uh, on the invasion of the Muslims. So it was not the crusades, you know, started against them, but it's the other way around. But then, of course, the Templars, who were very much in contact with the, uh, the Hashashin, like the Templars were like the special forces of the crusaders and the Hashashin, the, where the word assassin is from, and the word hashis as well, they were smoking hashis, where the, um, they were the, uh, the Muslim, uh, like uh, special forces as you could say, but they were all like, you know, more like by the, the lords and the, the pharaohs and the aristocracy. So the Arab aristocracy, the Muslim aristocracy, they had a very good contact with the Templars, and we were just dying and, you know, normal people. Normal Muslims were dying, normal Christians were dying, normal Europeans. And uh, they, they just, the, the lords, the pharaohs, the aristocracy of the Muslim world and the Christian world, they just let us fight each other. And it's a biggie coming up now, eh? As the Muslim invasion has taken place in Europe. And on the other hand, there's a Christian, like a uh, European invasion in the Muslim countries by the European armies. Of course, as a normal citizen, you know, a civilian you can't go and just go to a Muslim countries as the Muslim can just easily live in peace in the European countries because they will you know they will, they will harass you they give you a lot of problems so that's why the the European the Western armies are in the in the Muslim world because they need guns and weapons you know just to survive and on the other hand the uh, civilians of the Muslim countries they are in Europe so and it's all being done by the pharaoh. So we are not enemies of each other. We should stop it and get rid of the enemy within and obey Switzerland. Yeah. So there's another castle. Sorry. So I just met this Dutch guy here. He was, put, he was leaving his tent in the middle of town and he's got a nice story to tell. He's traveling as well. Okay. Well, this time I was a lot of years ago, I was in, in San Sebastian, Donostia in Spain, and I found me a bottle of, uh, of tequila. It was really cheap, but I finished all of it. I finished all of it too much, I drank too much. So I thought, I'm, I'd like to sit down on the, on the, the what you call it, the, the, the fucking stoop. Uh, the, the trottoir. Whatever, the trottoir, the trottoir. The sidewalk. So, and from that on, I, I, I just remember some, some flashes. Like I was sitting in this, this uh, in front of the, the, the church on, on the, 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 the stairs of the church and uh, someone next to me was putting a needle in his arm 
and his friend just before me, he was looking through my things, my, my passport, <laughs> he had my, my money. What and I not? had all my money on me. I had my, my, my stuff in some, some, some house I, uh, I squatted. But uh, my money, I thought it was smart to, to keep it on me, but <laughs> never mix money and, and, and alcohol like that. But so, he was going through my things and I was going, I thought, well, I got a knife, I got a knife, I had a bomber on, I had a knife in the, behind the, in his pocket on my bomber. So I was going for my, for my knife, but the, the guy was much faster, of course, I was still so, so drunk, so borracho, unbelievable. So he got my knife, put it on my throat, I had a blackout again, and then half a minute later or so, he was, uh, it was 100 meters uh, downstairs, uh, he was standing 20 meters from me and he was a bit afraid of me. I was shouting at him, I remember. That was just a few seconds and then uh, again a blackout and then, well, I don't know, I woke up the, the next day. Uh, so that was about it. <laughs> you want to leave your email address so people can write you? Uh, even kijken. Wie is my Richard? How do you yeah. spell it? Uh, W-I-E-R-S-M-A. R I C H A R D uh, at, at yahoo.ca. Not an L, but CA. For, for Canada. Canada, yeah. Oh, okay. You like Canada, eh? Oh, no, it, it was just. Because my Richard.nl was already uh, was already occupied. Oh, so. I, th I think you like Canada because uh, the tequila is more in Mexico, mate. <laughs> <laughs> what did you, you did drink in Canada? <laughs> Look, uh, oh, the cops already coming there. Hey, in this controlled town here. Nice guy. So this is France. <laughs> what happened to France? You know? The French wedding. They don't like it very much. Oh, look at the Swiss car. Ah, all Swiss cars, eh? For the married ones, you know. Well, assalamu alaikum, we do. The Muslims have completely taken over France. Completely. What a noise, man. It's asocial. Africans, you know, Algerian. It's going on for hours, you know, look at that. Yeah. Swiss. Yeah, yeah, hey. <laughs> oh. 
Francis is finished. Uh. A plus fort, c'est joli. <laughs> uh, nice music. <laughs> and look, there's another logo. Two pyramids, red and white, for the United Kingdom of Pharaoh. And the double S for ISIS or the SS. Well, I mean, why do they put it like this, the SS? They know what they're doing. All pharaohs put in the logos. That's why. And here's the, um, the sun hieroglyph, of course. There it is, everywhere on, on the other side. Here it says Le Platan. Sounds like the Palatines, you know, where Obama is from. and. Uh, when the Swiss went to Germany and also Donald Trump, he's from the Palatines, they're all Swissies. And uh, oh, there's a G, you know, Freemason G. With the, in between the uh, square and compass. And here the red pyramid, you know, and uh, this is why the octagon in the last month of the uh, war in 1945, they all gathered together in a, uh, the Hotel Maison Rouge. The Red House Hotel. And actually, I should have known, but the, it was the first time I, uh, I really thought about it. Uh, why the Red House Hotel? I mean, that's two times a hotel. One time, or two times the dwelling. One time the house and one time the hotel. That's, that's double, you know? Well, it's the Red House. That's what Octagon met in the last m weeks of the war. The Red House. Here's your Red House. The Per Tasser, and there's the White House behind it. The Per Het. So the, the, the Red House Hotel, L'Hotel Maison Rouge in Strasbourg, Place Kleber. It's all pharaonic, it's a pharaonic, pharaonic name. And the Red House is, is the original pharaonic aristocracy. So more like the first sons, the, uh, the primogenitura, who were being replaced by the. Um, by the second sun system uh, of the new world order. Here's the world domination. There you go. That was. Yeah, I wish you a good night in the wonderful place over there. Yes. <laughs> I slept a few times and I hope you sleep well. So, how do you call you guys in English, Van der Gazelle? Uh, journeyman. Journeyman? Yeah. Okay, so these guys are two journeymen from Germany. Yes. And. Uh, they are hitchhiking here as well in old clothes. Fantastic. And we got to get our lift. But yeah. thanks, it was nice to meet you. How to kebab your way around. Somebody forgot his kebab here. So they too, how to kebab your way around. So there's a monument for the dead here from this First World War and the Second World War with the Templars V. The same symbol as you find on the tanks, you know, or like Churchill did upside down, you find it like this and upside down. There are three marches on the stairs here, so it's for Isis, Wars and Seth, it's all occult. And they are the leaders of all the wars, the Templars, Octagon, Switzerland, in a park here in Strasbourg. Very nice tree, look like a Rasta. Yeah, look, they even got, for the recruitment of the gendarmerie, they even got a house here, you know. <laughs> if you want to join them, look at the octagon here. Octagon. Look at that. A whole big shop for it. Like here, and there, and there, and there, and there. Here in Strasbourg. Uh, uh, some, some sort of a fancy shop here in Strasbourg. Yeah, and it says save the queen. You know, we, want, we have to save her. Look what she does, you know, she pulls her, she pulls her tongue out. 
That's what it is, you know? It's all a joke, you know? Just, they just laugh about it. It just pulls her tongue out. Of course, there's an idea behind this, hey? A lion. Symbol of the aristocracy. That's the joining. Pharaoh. Triangle. Pyramid. What an idea to put that there. It's kind of weird too, man. What is this here? What is this, a Templar? It looks like it. And what is he killing? The wolf. The wolf is us, or what? They are the lions, we are the wolves. Uh, here in Strasbourg, somebody threw her husband out, you know, you fuck off, you know, you're going to sleep outside, you know. That's where it all ends. Look, the sunny hieroglyph and the pharaonic pyramid. And this is what happened to the man, you yeah? know. Well, pharaonic was all a matriarchal system. Look, another obelisk here in red. I don't know what it says here. But anyway, it's red. It did represents the red house and the ball you know we're gonna dominate the entire earth so this is the red house la maison rouge is still still in strasbourg as i showed you before so that's uh lower egypt the pertasser i was just in the church here in strasbourg the saint jean i think it's it's the uh november the, no it's october the 30th and then a police one came up they uh, stopped the uh the mess it was nice singing a little bit, you know, and then uh, we all had to get out and they said there's a bomb in, uh, there's a bomb in front of the, uh, in front of the uh, church. So they closed the church door and we all had, had to go out from the side. So now they, they closed the perimeter and uh, well, that's it. So here it says in the newspaper about the church where I was in, you know. Uh, I was sitting outside and the guy, you know, he said, well, we're going to have a, uh, we're going to play organ. So I thought, well, nice, a concert, but it was a mess going on. And uh, so the police stormed in and uh, I should have filmed it, but I, th I thought they came because of me, because of my backpack. They're absolutely they're getting all crazy here in France, you know. So this is what happened on Sunday. And uh, unfortunately, I didn't film it again, just like on... July the 14th. It's already freezing. I had, uh, in my tent, I had minus two. So, probably minus four outside. Uh, well, it's life. So it's the beginning of November, the east of France, it's pretty cold there. So it's not a warm country as people think, you know, in the south it's warm, but not in the east, you know, bloody cold there. And they're shooting. Frenchies training to kill Muslims, probably. It's coming up, civil war. Light machine gun. <sighs> Probably Cal 308. And in this forest I was lying one, one year ago when I left Switzerland on December the 21st. The uh, winter solstice when they were, do they were doing sacrifices on children in Switzerland. And they, were, they wanted to take my family. So, I, you know, I split as I told you. So I camped out here on the same place I was ha staying here in this forest. It's not a natural forest. Look, there are all lanes here, but it's beautiful. It's made for the wood, you know, they're all lanes. But it's a beautiful, very straight, very interesting place here. And uh, so now one year later, I'm back here. So I didn't know what to do then. 
and I stayed here for a couple of days, you know, and then I went to uh, I went to to a YouTube fan in the north of uh, of Europe, and I could stay with this guy for one and a half month, and I really saved my life. And uh, so, one year later, you know, yeah. <clears throat> Beautiful place. And I was just lying here, looking up, and it's cold, it's, it's winterish. I wonder if any of you has ever seen this, people who've been working with the Bergen backpack of the uh, British Army. Uh, by the sheer use of it, the straps, <laughs> the strap has, uh, has torn, has been torn apart. And it's a Sunday, and I was like, uh, how am I going to do this? <laughs> you know? It's falling apart, my old Bergen. It's a, it's an old one, an old model. It's the, uh, uh, I think it's a 58 webbing. <clears throat> yeah, yeah. There it is. Completely gone, and it's all wet. It's raining today. <clears throat> how am I going to do this? repaired somehow so you know um, I'm here in an empty supermarket it's raining that's why I got the uh, the bash over my uh, the um, the cover over my backpack so it all it doesn't all get wet but it doesn't it doesn't hold anymore either so it's like being alone behind enemy lines again you know um, as I was in a special regiment, a you know a couple of selected guys, you know, and um, they put us behind enemy lines, you know. In the beginning, you know, you was alone, so I was thinking, you know, you're thinking like, well, I want to do the mission, you know, and um, and um, you know, like hyped up, like in a movie, you know, a James Bond movie or something. That's so stupid, actually. Um, I passed that fortunately and um, yeah so but after a couple of weeks you know being alone like behind enemy lines you know you start thinking well who's in control who's giving the orders am I still in the mission or you know am I giving the orders myself or can I just take over and give my own orders and um, yeah you start questioning things you know and What's going on? Who's who's really giving the orders? I mean, you're all alone, you know, and you just go beyond your fear, and you, know, you you can't change it anyway. And you start thinking, you know, that's what actually happened. Uh, now it's like, you know, because I studied history afterwards and and started to see the real connections, and um, it's all a lie, you know. So I'm here behind enemy lines again, you know, sitting all alone here, can't see my children, uh, being terrorized uh, by the, the, the authorities, you know, the, the Swiss who are ruling the entire planet, the Swiss Templars, and they're using lies upon lies upon lies, you know, the Swiss, they are a bunch of liars, they all are, and um, you know, it's, like, it's like reading this book here. Uh, it was a Royal Navy soldier who gave me this book here, The Crusade. Yeah. Looks nice, yeah? But it's, 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 it's not based upon facts, you know? It's, it's they're probably going to make a, a, a big Hollywood movie out of it. I can already see it happening, you know? They, they say it's, it's the best book ever, you know? And it was in the, in the newspapers and, uh, where was it? In the... Uh, uh, well, anyway, I don't see it here. Big mainstream uh, prostitute newspapers. It's all politics, you know. It's probably not even being written by one person only. It's uh, it's all organized, you know, to prepare for the next war. Yeah, it's all psychologically analyzed, and um, it's a lie. The book is a lie. The story is a lie. It's 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 hopeless. You know? And uh, yeah, 
I, I, I just talked to an, uh, so there was a royal, an, an ex-Royal Marine who gave that to me. And the guy, well, I mean, I should have um, filmed him, but no, well, no. And he told me that the, uh, the, the uh, first, the Italians in Afghanistan, they, uh, they paid off the Taliban 3 million euros. And they said, well, uh, uh, if you're not gonna if you're not gonna attack us, we'll give you three million. Then they got replaced by the French, and the French said, uh, Taliban said, well, give me our three million. So the French uh, declined, and they said, no, no, forget about that. You know, we don't do that in France. You know, so a week after they, the French lost uh, 53 years of their soldiers. You know, well, it's not a word about this in the newspapers, of course. You know, you get it by hitchhiking, an ex royal marine <laughs> telling you this. You know. It's all a lie. Everything is a lie. So um, I met a um, another guy who took me hitchhiking. Was a, uh, a French marine, a Marsouin, a uh, soldat marine, and uh, he was everywhere in Chad and Bosnia and everywhere. And he told me the government gave them pills, which happened to be ecstasy, and it didn't make him dance. You know, yeah, that's horrible. You know, just like the Germans, they gave amphetamines to the soldiers called pervitin. They called it uh, the uh, Stuka cho chocolate, you know, the diving airplane or tank chocolate. Makes you crazy. It's also one of the reasons of all the uh, uh, you know, the, the war crimes you know, or, or people getting crazy and participating in it. You know, there's, there wasn't actually a in some cases emotionally another way out you know so well here i am you know, behind enemy lines and i start thinking again eh? and discovering a lot of things eh? because i'm patient yeah behind enemy lines you have to be patient you know think you know, and, and be patient or don't think at all and have other thoughts come you know god knows where they come from spiritual, um, divine. The enemy within is very real. They're all over. They're the pharaohs and the base of Switzerland. Yeah, okay. That's it for today. So I'll show you the abandoned supermarket. Here I'm sitting alone, you know, reading that book there. And uh, so there's the abandoned supermarket. Nice. Yeah almost as abandoned as myself but not as just as abandoned as myself yeah. what a society eh? if I finish the book I go back into the mountains there you know put my tent but uh, it's better reading my, the book here but it's, it's bollocks anyway Yeah, look, now the Swiss Nazis, the Nazi people of Switzerland, now they even want to put my wife, like here, uh, to put her in prison. Just based upon lies and upon lies and upon lies. They're the most dangerous people in the world, you know. And um, they also want to... Uh, they... Um, want to put me in prison again here it says here somewhere another 40 days they want to have me pay i don't know how many swiss francs and um, it says yeah another 40 days here and it, it won't stop here it says here another nazi judge marty all a bunch of Nazis and uh, well they don't like what I'm doing you know like um, telling the world who the Swiss really are and uh, so again here so I don't even want to put my wife in prison they, they just you know they just they came into the house you know they can easily break in here's here's she is you know this is her her birth date Hey Swissy, the world is going to know what you did, financing two world wars and genocides and terrorism and they're not going to like it, you Nazi Octagon Nazi Templars, they're not going to like it. They're not going to like it, I tell you.